All right, one, two, three. Hello, everyone. Another fantastic, magical morning. And uh, today, we're gonna keep on ranking up, playing in standard, and uh, I'm gonna try out Demir. Demir is a color combination I really do enjoy, besides the time they were using rogues. And I'm curious to see what the new cards from Dominar United can bring to the deck. So, yeah, let's go straight to the deck list. Okay, so this is the deck we're gonna play today. Let's go over the cards. We got three cops of Cutdown, we have four March of the Wretch Sorrow, we have three cops of Suspicious Doorway, and three cops of Tenacious Underdog. We play three Mythic Maskers, we also play four cops of Shakedown Heavy, and we have two cops of Liliana of the Veil. We have three Kaito Shizuki, and we have two Sora and the Mirthless. We also have three cops of the Cruelty of Gix, we have three Invoke Despair, and finally just one copy of Kairiri, the Swirling Sky. So what are the new cards in this deck? Well, first we have Cutdown. Cutdown is a solid removal spell, one black mana, instant, destroy target creature with total of power and toughness 5 or less. Yeah, it's pretty solid. I like it quite a bit. The next card is going to be, of course, Liliana of the Veil. I've heard a lot about this Planeswalker for a couple of years now. And it's supposed to be one of the best ones to ever be printed. But obviously, a Planeswalker is only as good as the deck it's placed in or how well it synergizes with the rest of your cards. So we'll we'll try out two copies here in this Demir control deck and see how she performs. The next card is going to be the one I'm most excited about, which is the Cruelty of Gix. I like all the sagas in this latest set. It's a 5 mana with a read ahead, which means that you can pick the chapter it can start on. The first chapter is target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a creature or planeswalker card from it, that player discards that card. Chapter 2, you search your library for a card, put that into your hand and you lose 3 life, which is pretty dope. And finally, put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. So yeah, it's very very sweet. I like the fact that we can go ahead and, you know, discard the opponent's st stuff, but I think a lot of times I'll just skip that and move straight to the tutor, try to get Invoke Despair, maybe get Mythic Massacre, or find the one copy of Kariri Swirling Sky. And I like Kariri because now we don't have as easy removals, in my opinion, and having a 6-6 six, six with, with Ward 3 ain't too bad. And the ability that whenever it dies, you may return, you mill six cards, and then you get to return up to two instant and or sorcery cards from your graveyard to your hand, which means that yes, you can return, invoke despair, and play it again. And besides that, it's a very just normal, uh, how do you say, Dimir control deck. We have Kaito Shizuki, I still think it's a better planeswalker than Liliana. Then again, I've never played with Liliana, so we'll find out in today, I guess. And uh, hence, we, with this planeswalker, we do play with Tenacious Underdog and Suspicious Stowaway to get out on turn two, making sure we can get that extra card on turn three. But yeah, it's a solid, normal Invoke Despair kind of Demir control deck, and we're gonna try to utilize my favorite new saga. And yeah, let's go to the first game. All right, let's get started. As always, if you have any questions about the deck or the gameplay, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below. You know I love to hear from you. And if you happen to enjoy the content, consider subscribing and liking. That would make my day. All right, let's start. Okay, we get to go first. This hand is El Terrible. I mean, I've never seen a one land hand in a best of one in, in MTG Arena in such a long time. So yeah, crap. And this one, wow, we got two lands, guys. <laughs> we'll keep it, I'm not mulliganing twice. I guess we can get rid of one of the heavies, and I wonder what... Yeah, I can't read that. So I wonder what he is playing, or she is playing. All right, he or she mulliganed. Let's go ahead and get the tap land out and pass the turn. So I, I, like, I like to speculate on what can be hard to face against, but yeah, I really don't know. Let's go ahead and get the tenacious, un tenacious Underdog out and pray for another land so we can get Kaito out and possibly draw another card if we get to attack with the uh, Underdog. Alright, so Mono Black Discard. Okay, well, I personally think that Mono Black Discard is not very good, but maybe it's viable now with Liliana, who knows? Who knows? But I'm not threatened by it. I feel like these two Shakedown Heavies will wreak havoc on the opponent if we ever get to play it, play them, that is. I have looked at, what, seven... Wow, okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and kill that. And, um, yeah, I guess we can rid of, get rid of a Heavy. 
Yeah, we can do it. That's pretty cool. So you can get to enter the battlefield effect again uh, with the Scarabs. He's going to discard another car, another of my cards, which is kind of cool. Wow. Well, I know what I'm going to discard if he plays it. I think, yeah, we, we mulligan. So we looked at seven, six, and what are we now? Turn three or four. Seven, six, that's 13. So like we have, we have looked at around 18 cards and we have seen, uh, all right, we've seen four lands now. <laughs> It's just, just to give you an idea how terrible the luck is so far. Okay, cut down, kind of cool, but uh, let's go ahead and play out Kaito. We were allowed to attack, so we do get to draw the card, and yeah, Kaito will be faced out, so we're not in any problem. But yeah, since the power level is down, maybe decks that we considered crap before might be viable, like, I, I don't know, discard or... Yeah, wow, aim for the head, cool, you surely did. Whatever your name is. Uh, okay, well, we found the card that's supposed to combo off with Kaito. That's pretty good, at least. And I think we go ahead and make a token here. And hopefully it doesn't have a march, so you can kill my Kaito. But, yeah. I don't know what to say. I wonder what the opponent has in his hand. He's also struggling with... Oh, he has that. Great. Fantastic. Love it. Can I please, please, uh, give me a land? Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, that's the, yeah, now we're getting two cards. Thank you so much. All right, and this is why Tenacious Underdog is amazing. If it's not ex... Okay, we need a land. If it's not exiled, it's going to be a continuous uh, struggle. Wow, isn't that funny? Very shuffled deck indeed. We have as many... We have half the amount of Invoke Despairs compared to lands. And I don't, I, don't, I don't even want to know how far down we are in the deck because it's just going to make me depressed. But yeah, okay, Pilfer. All right, sure, pick one. And there's the land. Oh my god, never been so happy to see land in my life. Now the question is, do we do the Tenacious Underdog plus uh, Kaito or just Invoke Despair? And I gotta say Invoke Despair. We are playing an Invoke Despair deck, so let's go ahead and do it. We can also get rid of his uh, Mythic Massacre here, which means he won't gain a life whenever we attack with uh, uh, Tenacious Underdog again. And we can cycle, I guess, the... Hmm, or do we want to make a token? I think token is fine here. I mean, I, the only thing they have with haste is going to be Tenacious Underdog. Wow, they really, does, they really don't have anything. I guess the Shuffler algorithm just decided that both players are going to be bored today. We have both of you out. We can go ahead and attack. Hopefully it doesn't have something to exile my... Okay, so... Oh. Well, that's not good. Uh, let's go ahead and draw. Well, now we're getting too many lands. Come on. What is this man? Oh, Delali. Uh, either way, we are going to, I guess, nothing. I swear to God, the opponent probably has like a million Invoke Despairs in his hand. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. He has no Sorens. He has no... Okay, cut down. That's fine. All right, cool. I guess I'll just go ahead and cycle one of these terrible lands. But yeah... We might have a bunch of Mythic Maskers, but I'm 100% sure they have Invoked Despair in their hand. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Just waiting for it to be able to pop off. Let's get you out. And since a lot of people are playing Cutdown right now, I, I like Shakedown Heavy a lot, because Cutdown ain't cutting it for this one. It ain't cutting it. And neither does Lightning Strike. I mean, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and cycle this. Yoink. Ah, we got Liliana. Liliana, oh wow. What do you think they have in their hand, guys? Let's go ahead and attack first and see if they want to uh, give me a card. Wow, they don't run out of cards, do they? Just four lands and removal, huh? Well, let's take a look at their hand. Uh, we're going to go with chapter one here because they, they might have, like, I don't know what they have. Wow, two Invoke Despairs. <laughs> two Invoke Despairs, oh, that's hilarious. Oh, that's great. Let's make a creature so if they get the land, at least they, I mean, they won't draw any cards, but... Oh yeah, they have the cut down, never mind. <laughs> it's so funny to me. Do they get the land? Please don't get the land. Please just have that forever. Okay, what does this one do? Ah, I don't really care. We're just gonna kill it. Yeah, cut down, man. You have such a good card. I love it. Okay, we're, all, we're still getting land, so what do we want here? I think we want Invoke to spare, right? I mean, we can also get Kariri, but I think Invoke Despair is fine. Uh, yeah, let's go with Invoke Despair. 
I mean, it's still. I still think Evoke Despair together with Mythic Massacre are the best cards in black right now. Speaking of which, I do have to make him on a black deck, but I guess I can't do it right after I've made a Demir deck, so tomorrow I think I'm going to do Bant. Yeah, I'll do Bant tomorrow. Bant Walkers. Alright, Mythic Massacre's out, and this way, if he plays Invoke Despair, we can actually sacrifice the Mythic Massacre instead of the Cruelty of Gex. So, and that's the first game. Let's keep on going. Okay, opponent gets to go first. It doesn't feel amazing, but we have a decent hand. We have some removal. We have a Tenacious Underdog. I think this is fine to keep. And I wonder what Han Games Johnny is playing. That's a weird name. Then again, I should not speak on this matter. All right, more, more removal is not too bad. Let's get the tap land out. And uh, okay, maybe uh, I have no idea what the opponent is playing. Not gonna question it, I'm just gonna go insane. Right now you can't make sense of what anyone is playing really, from my experience. So let's see what they play. Dark side Chef, huh? Hmm. That's a pretty good card. Yeah, it had it it had a brief like moment of glory in I think was Orso Tokens, but Yeah, maybe Orso Tokens could work too. And we're just gonna hold March here. Morbid opportunities. Yeah, we see these. Yeah. These cards that you kind of saw here and there that were considered kind of bad. But now I guess they're pretty good. Let's go ahead and shoot it with cut down. And yeah. What? Alright. Next game. Okay, we get to go first. And this hand is also kind of... Uh, I don't know. We have two drops and we have two lands. I mean, we should keep it, I guess. And we can maybe loot a land with a suspicious stowaway. And hopefully we draw Kaito. So stowaway together with Kath Kaito is really, really cool. And I wonder what Tashar is playing. Hmm. Well, let's stick to the plan. And I think... Hmm, depends. Yeah, we can do the Tenacious Underdog. It's more of a board presence. Besides, I think they might have removal. So they might go for the Tenacious Underdog instead. Okay, never mind. We should have done the Suspicious Stowaway. Well, let's attack first and see if they want to remove. Okay, never mind. We really should have done Suspicious Stowaway. But we can start the day-night cycle. Now let's pray they don't play anything so we can turn it into night. Or I'll feel really, really bad. Okay. Fuck me. We should have played Suspicious Stowaway on turn two. All right. Well, we're gonna get rid of that with the uh, cut down. Yep. And do, 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 do. we only have two Field of Ruin. Obviously, we were gonna draw them. Oh, nice. Uh, what do we wanna toss? I guess you. I don't think we're ever gonna play another one of you. And I guess we're just gonna spend the turn getting getting rid of his Triumph. Actually, we can do it right now before he has a chance to actually, actually use the land. He's playing a bunch of colors here, so I mean. Might as well try to ruin with this, uh, mess with his lands. Maybe he doesn't have uh, any basics. Okay, he does. Never mind. All right, let's uh, turn it into night. And yeah, let's draw an extra card every turn. I'm telling you, the suspicious doorway is pretty dang good. And he doesn't want to discard anything. Okay, the opponent has a dream hand. Soul transfer on the wrong creature. All right. And there's Kaito. The dream team has been assemb assembled. Let's attack here. Down to 11. Draw a card. Awesome land. Like, yeah, this is how the deck is supposed to float. You have Kaito, you have Invoke Despair, you have Suspicious Doorway turned into a Werewolf. I mean, yeah. And the reason why we played Invoke Despair is because he's close to being dead here. We might as well just finish, try to finish him off. Okay. So how, what do we do here? We can attack first, see if he, we draw a removal spell for one mana. Let's say a, a cut down. That we do, but we don't have the land. So do we do Invoke Despair or do we do Kaito? Uh, I think we just do... Um, this is hard. I mean, we are we are going to win, but you have to win flashy, remember? Winning with Invoke Despair is the best feeling. But... I don't know. Let's go ahead with Soren, actually. Because Soren, we can go ahead and uh, make a token. And we can kill the, his token. No, not token. His 2-1 officer. It feels like a token. I think my token is better than his token, to be honest. Even though it's not a token. Okay, Mythic Massacre, alright. Let's go ahead and... Hmm. 
He's still gonna save two life because of the stupid. It's gonna be an enchant. Well, let's go ahead and get rid of the Alphse right away. Uh, the his creature right away, so we don't take damage from the Mythic Massacre being on the board. Okay. Gains two life. Feels bad. And uh, all right, cool. Well, let's just invoke despair. You can't always win the way you want. He takes four damage. Can we get an untapped land, please? Uh, can we get an untapped land, please? Uh, all right. I don't feel like I asked too much, but yeah, it's the way it is. And we're gonna kill him with invoke despair anyway. He did see it. He's probably gonna concede now because okay, you're sleepy. Well played, better than Teshar. Okay, we get to go first. Again, two lands. I don't like it. One bit. But we're going to have some faith that we're going to draw a land. Uh, I just don't like the fact that it's multiple lands we get like this. I mean, maybe they updated the shuffler to make it even worse. Even though it's hard to believe you can actually do it. Uh, do we just shoot this? I think we do. That That is a very cool one drop that I want to try out as well. But not today. Okay, another cut down. So we've drawn as many cut downs as we have drawn <laughs> shakedown heavy as we as we have drawn lands. That is what I say is not good. Yeah, cult conscript is cool. Okay, evolved. Fine. All right, so he's gonna do that. We don't really care, do we? I'd rather want him to commit to more mana for to turn it into a three three, and then we can cast cut down, but. Uh, we can also just play out Shaitan Heavy here. Yeah. I don't really care about his little dirtly, dirtly creature. His, um, what was it called? The snow creature that did the same thing. Cool, it's a 3 3 now with the Death Touch. You still can't block because we have Menace, so yeah. I don't really care. I don't care. Oh, wow, look at that. We get all the lands. Let's go attack first. Uh, we hide Kaito in our hand. And yeah, let's see if he gives us a card, or if he did, yeah, or if he wants to take six. Oh wow, he takes a six damage, huh? Yeah, the, this means you can't block it, idiot. I take it back. I've had a pretty rough day. You're not an idiot. You just didn't read the card. RTFC, read the fucking card. Let's go ahead and play you out, and let's get. Uh, let's make sure we tap this, and let's get Kaito out. Draw a card. Am I supposed to be worried about this? I don't think so. I doubt it. To be fair, opponents only play two cards, so... I don't know what's going on in this or her head. Bows, Haas, Mono Black. I guess Mono Black is the thing to go, which makes sense. Uh, mono Black, Mono Red seems to be very, very strong. But I, would, I do want to give Mono Green a go, because that Defiler of Vigor is such a cool card. Okay, okay. The long, I thought first was the Cruelty of Gix, but that would have been too cool. Uh, I'd rather discard a card, I don't want to sacrifice. Then what? Okay, he attacks me. Well, we keep getting lands, like... That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and attack, see if he wants to take 6 damage and go down to 8. He does not. Okay, more land. Ha ha ha, 3 lands in a row. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. Okay. So what do we do? I guess we just draw because we already attacked. Wow, is that the fourth land? You don't know. I don't know. Let's go ahead and just kill this nasty little critter. Mutic Massacre on the board is pretty strong. Yeah, it's just... Sometimes, man. Uh, yeah, discard. How about this land? Don't worry, I'll get another one. Apparently, there are only lands in this stack. You know what would be nice? An Invoke Despair. Wow, that is a cool card. Wow, is that the fifth land? Is that the fifth land? Is that the fifth land? Ah, <sighs> why? Why do I even play this? Why? Why? This shuffler ain't working. Let's go ahead and attack. You're gonna give me a card. Right now, I'm gonna take damage if you do. Wow, the sixth land, the sixth land. Ding, 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 ding. We reached it. Do I get a jackpot? Let's draw another land. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Are you kidding me? This is not a magic game. This is just some developer laughing his ass off watching the games like, haha, watch, I'm gonna do this. Wow, the first thing that wasn't a land, cool. How insane indeed, huh? 
Okay, well, let's get the district out. And they're all tapped, too. I, I, I hope you didn't fail to notice. They were all tapped. Man, I'm, I'm thinking of getting rid of the Thrawn portal. I mean, we don't have a Demir Pain Land, but I still don't like it. Oh, you have your own shakedown. Good for you. Fantastic. Are you going to attack my Kaito or me? Kaito or me? That is the question. Wow. Mad respect for Kaito. I like it. I mean, I don't, I'm only at 10 life, but... Okay. Wow, he didn't do anything, huh? Why? Well, we're pretty dead here. I don't have a removal for the stupid uh, creature. And... Um, yeah, we can get Cruelty of Gix. And we can tutor up. Uh, I mean, if we attack, all it's going to do is give me a card, right? And I'm going to lose two more life. Wow, really? I essentially handed my head on a plate for you, on a silver platter. You don't want to... Okay, cool. That is fine. Uh, sure, we'll leave it at this. Thank you. You can draw another two... Another card and lose two life with Kaito. Man, we were so ahead, and then the deck decided to give me seven lands in a row, and then this new... Well, not this card, but Shieldred is pretty cool. Uh, we only have one creature in the graveyard, so you can only hit me for one. We can just go ahead and fetch... Um, yeah, we'll go to Tudor right away. We don't have time to wait around. And we can use... Um, let's see, where are you? March, so we can gain some life. I think that's worth it. We get down to six. Um... We could just make a token. Uh, uh, we don't have enough to just play out to play the march right now. We can deal four damage and it's at five. So, I mean, I think we just make a token here to block because otherwise we might be dead. And uh, yeah, worst case scenario, we have to use the march on the zero four, but I don't know. Still, opponent is only at four lands. Can you, can you believe it? Can someone please? Is, is no one else amazed by this? We're still alive though. We are still alive and kicking against Bao's house. Okay, Tainted Adversary, you're gonna make some tokens. I mean, you should. Hmm. So, what we wanna do... Okay, Liliana. Alright, so that is game. We lose. He's just gonna make me sacrifice the token and attack me and kill me. And that's the end of that. Good game. What? I was ready to concede. You make me discard? You don't want to hit me for 5 damage and I take 2 damage from the from drawing a card? I mean, he doesn't know I have a march in my hand, but still, he would have won. And he doesn't even attack. Do you not see I'm at 6 life? Do you not see that? Using Kai to, to draw cards, I lose life. Like, Bow's house, you need your priorities, mate. Are we actually gonna survive this? Uh, I don't know, like, let's be careful here. Uh, well, no! You colossal idiot. <laughs> I hit the keyboard. No, we didn't want that. Uh, we wanted to shoot the march first before he got the effect. God, so stupid. Either way, we want to do the march first. We can reanimate Shieldred on our turn. Um, yeah, then we can use Kaito to draw a card, gain some more life. Uh, do you want to just do for five or do you want to just do for everything we have? One, two, three, four, five. We can do for six. We can also exile two cards. Do for a little bit more, but I think we just exile one. And uh, that's still a lot of life. And now we can also use mana for. Da -da 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 -da. Let's see here. We get you back. Because now we can play at two characters. We can draw two cards. Game for life. Uh, let's draw first and see what we get. Another Kaito, yep. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. And we'll play another Kaito, try to find him. You know, we still need to find Invoke to Spare. I think that's the funniest thing. We still need to find Invoke to Spare. But we don't. And let's go ahead and draw again. We go up to 13. Okay, cool. Well, I can drop this Thram portal that's just been sitting rotten in my hand. And then he loses two life. And we're actually caught up to... We were down to what? Four. That was a pretty good turn. March is so good, even when it's played by an idiot such as myself. But now he's gonna sacrifice so he can get his creature back in his graveyard. Maybe deal one more damage. We're gonna take four, and yeah. 
fine. He, he has all the all the sagas besides the good one. Cruelty of Kicks, man. Come on, Bows House. That's what you need. Okay, yeah, you get it back. Still, Liliana, I'm not gonna lie, it feels pretty devastating playing against it here. Like, yeah, it feels like a pretty good Planeswalker. I think that's the last um, Shakedown Heavy in our deck. Oh, that is a blessing. Or oh, that is such a blessing. You know what would be more of a blessing? Would be Invoke Despair, but I'll still, I'll take it. Uh, we can, hmm. We do want to shoot Liliana, or do you want to shoot the Shield Red? I think Liliana is more important, because he can just make me sacrifice my creatures, which is kind of annoying. So let's go ahead and just shoot Liliana here. I think that's the best thing to do. And yeah, hopefully we can keep keep around our Shakedown Heavy. Draw a million cards, but now he's going to get his Shield Red back, or the stupid card, and I'm going to lose life whenever I draw. Uh, so sure, sure. How about Magic Masker? Yep, you're back. Annoying to say the least. I did not know they were playing reanimation spells or put creature cards in your hand again from the graveyard. But hey, I'll keep that in mind from now on. Maybe I can find an exile spell instead, like Soul Transfer. Okay, all right. Uh, you can do that. I don't care. Why you didn't attack with your other card for 3 damage is beyond me. I guess you just don't want to. Let's go ahead and attack. Are you gonna give me a card? Cruelty of Gigs, huh? We can go on Tutor uh, March again. I think we have to do it. We don't have we enough... When, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Yeah, we have exactly four damage, so we are gonna take some more damage uh, from the from his creatures. So that's annoying. So we have to kind of survive. Maybe we should go ahead and make a token then instead of taking two more damage. I do think Cruelty of Gix is worth playing here, and let's use the colorless mana. And let's go to chapter two. And let's go ahead and get another. Where is it? We have one left, I think. Yeah, we have two left. Here we go. And we have exactly four, so we can shoot something else, but we can always have it as an emergency if he does find a way to actually deal damage to us. And this time I'm gonna shoot it before we draw. I'm not gonna make that mistake. Uh, let's go ahead and make a token to make sure we can block. Wow, this game is actually longer than I thought. Like, it doesn't feel long, but then I remember how the initial game, or well, the beginning of it was, and that's, that feels like ages ago. It's been a very engaging engaging match here. I like it. A mono black is strong, but I think Demir can actually keep up with it. I think so. I want to believe so. And I think if we lose this game, I'll still make a video out of it. Make a YouTube video. Even though it's this long. Uh, yeah, are you gonna attack? One eternity later. Alright. Uh... We can just throw away this rat token. I don't want to, him to get it back. Okay, now we shoot it before we draw a card. And one, two, three, four, five, six. We can hit it for uh, seven. Uh, okay, I guess I pressed too much. I think I put eight, but my mistake. Here we go, seven. Math was never my strongest subject. Haha. -ha. All right, let's go gain some life. Thank you. March is so good. And there's Soran as well. That's not too bad. Let's go ahead and get Shouldered back. This guy. <laughs> it's so mean. I think Cruelty of Gigs plus this uh, creature is just so good together. Let's go ahead and attack and draw another card. Gain two life. Okay, who cares? Attack with you. Yep. You can give me a card or... What are you going to do? Yeah, Shouldred plus Shakedown Heavy plus Kaito. I think we have to play this creature from now on. Yeah, I'm gonna gain two more life here. It's just too good. This creature is just too good. Yeah, together with Mythic Master. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually amazed how good it is. Yeah, Shouldred, man. I think it's my new favorite black creature. Or any creature, really. It's so good. I know a lot of people talk crap about it in the previews. And I was like, is it really that bad? It seems pretty good. Yeah, it's so good that the opponent has to take two damage just to get rid of it. Yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty pretty Gucci here. And Kaito, I mean, yeah, Shouldred plus Kaito plus 
uh, a suspicious stowaway plus shakedown heavy. I mean, this is just perfect. All right. So what do we want to do? We want to tap you for sure. Okay, let's draw some cards. And yeah, sure, we can take a land. All right. So remember when I drew seven cards in a row, seven lands, that it's still the same game. It feels like a different game to me, but because it's so long. Bow sauce, what are you gonna do? All right, just gonna take it this time. Okay, well, you have to double block. But it's fine. You can get it back, the 2 1, so it makes sense. We still haven't drawn our Invoke to Spare, though, which, which is kind of aggravating, I'm not gonna lie. Let's go ahead and draw. Okay, yeah, get it back. Who cares? And <laughs> we keep getting land. Well, ref, I am not too particularly happy about this. We do this, and then I guess we can cycle. That's all we can do. We could also play a Kaito, but eh. I think we'll just jump. Actually, no. Uh, with the... Um, his enchantment has haste, uh, though. It's gonna turn the Hirobi. So, might as well do this now and have it go into... Uh, what do you want to call it? Phase out. Because now, yeah, look at this. He gets this flying creature that has haste. So, we couldn't protect uh, uh, Kaito regardless. And yes, in this instance, I think Kaito is better than Sauron. Okay, yeah, wow. It's just... Yeah, maybe we are dead. No, we're not. What am I talking about? We have a Mythic Mask in our hand. There's no way we're gonna lose. He's gonna kill my um, Swarm, which is kind of annoying. Don't get me wrong. But opponents still 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 lands. We are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 lands. Just to show the comparison how crap this game has been in terms of luck. Okay. Sure. He really wants Swarm dead, huh? It's like this is the one. This is this this fucking planeswalker is gonna get me to lose. It's like yeah. Well, bye Soren. Stake through your heart, mate. And da -da 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 -da. what did you draw? Saint an ad adversary. Okay, cool. More meat to the massacre. I love it. Just gonna draw another card here. Wow, double Mythic Massacre is not too bad. Let's attack first. They are unblockable after all. Let's cycle a card, preferably a land. Don't misclick. Wow, another land. Sometimes, dude. Sometimes another land. No, Kairi, wow. I don't think we'll play it out now. I think we do Mythic Massacre first and then play it out. And yeah, tap you. Let's do it for uh, four. I was about to do three. That's stupid. So let's do it for four. I was I, I was actually kind of happy because if it was for three, we could have played out played out the Carrieri plus Mythic Massacre. But for uh, four here, we are one mana short, which is annoying. Either way, let's go ahead and gain some life. I think we go up to 20 again. Yep, look at that. It's like we never did anything. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and cycle our Triumph. Got some more cards. And then next turn, we're going to play out the Kairi. My voice is cracking up again. It hurts. Okay, Toxtril. Never mind. We're gonna use Mythic Massacre again. Wow, this game doesn't end, huh? This is a long battle. This is an insane battle. Okay, yeah, Cut Down is worthless. More land. Why not? Still no Invoke to Despair, though. It is beyond me. I, I can't. It feels like I forgot to put it in the deck. Okay, yeah, still no Invoke to Despair. <laughs> good game. Yeah, it's a good game, I suppose. It's a long game. I hope you didn't say that because you think you're gonna win, opponent. Um. I think uh, you're still gonna lose pretty hard. Sure. Well, it won't be hard because the game has gone so long. It will be mediocre. Yeah, man, look at this. Look at all this stuff and no invoke to spare. The Shuffler, man. The Shuffler's out to get you. Shuffler's out to get you. Okay, Tenacious Underdog. But well, it's not enough to kill my Kaito. Ah, do we just shoot it? Yeah, we do, I guess. It's down to three. I guess it can play out his uh, construct now, though, which is kind of bad. But I think the moment I play out my carry, it's gonna be game over finally. Actually, we'll just win with this. <laughs> All right, what a 
What a pathetic end, but here comes Tenacious Underdog to save the day. Bye bye, Bows Hoss. It was a good game. Alright, the opponent gets to go first, and this hand is very, very slow. Being on the draw with nothing but a turn 3 play is usually a recipe for disaster. Yeah, we'll keep it. That was the recipe for disaster before rotations. Maybe it's you can play something out on turn 3 now, who knows. Alright, Bant, let's get our tower out and pass the turn. I wonder what ninth life is... Ninth life? Oh my god, I can't... I can't, I can't read. Uh, Ledger Shredder, okay, that is kind of annoying. Let's go ahead and get the Suspicious Doorway out and pass the turn. Let's see if he makes it into Midnight. Oh. Okay, Combat Research, alright. Well, that's not good for me, I think. Uh, sure. Do we have a way to deal with it? I, yeah, we do have uh, Liliana of the Veil here. Hmm. And she can get around uh, protection spells, so yeah. I mean, they can use Fading Hope to bring it back to his hand, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's get rid of you again. We don't need more of you. So yeah, let's do Liliana, make him sacrifice it, and yeah, we should be safe. So yeah, let's see how good Liliana is. Liliana. Hard to say. You have an upset throat. That is so annoying. Okay, I forgot about Slip Out the Back. I know he takes it up the back. Um, well, there goes Liliana. Alright, cool. We can't handle Slip Out the Back when you play her. Keep that in mind, guys. But at least he didn't, he didn't get to draw a card. Okay, so what do we do now? I think we just attack and draw a card. And getting two Waterfront District in a row is not good. No more lands. Okay, that's the land. Man, I'm just a magnet to land, huh? Uh, let's get Soren out. And uh, let's make a token to block. So he doesn't get a get to draw a card necessarily with this creature. E. Don't they usually play... Uh, it's not bad, it's, is it usually with the Ledger Shredder? But maybe this is good too, who knows? Who knows? Okay, security bypass. Okay, well, we can't block that now, feels bad, but it doesn't get to draw a card, which is kind of nice. Okay, so I guess we just do Invoke Despair and Prey doesn't have a counter spell. We can attack first, maybe bait a removal, who knows? Who knows? I don't, that's for sure. We can do Kaito as well and keep drawing cards. Hmm. Hmm. We are an Invoke to Spare deck. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. And hopefully it doesn't have Counterspell. Please, 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 don't have it, don't have it, you mother... What? Okay, sleep at the back. Alright, I get three cards, I'll take it. I was so I'm so close to say something bad there, huh? No, 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 no. Okay, Stormweaver Drake. All right. What else you got? And okay, take up. That's not good. I don't like the life link. But at least it's only for one turn. He gets to connive and he gets to draw. Wow, this ledger shredder is pretty big. Okay, well it's day, which is not good for me, because now we don't get extra card, but let's get rid of the cutdown. Yeah, let's see, it's 5-7, so we need to hit him, well, if he has a protection spell, we're dead, I guess. We can shoot him with the March of the Red Sorrow for quite a bit. Um, what should we need to hit him for 7? So 1, 2, 3, we just exile 2 cards, we should be fine. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll be great, and you? Out of pay. Perfect, perfect. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, I forgot about his stupid ability. God, I suck, I suck so hard. Why am I allowed to breathe? This is terrible. No! No, yeah, that is an oops. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh man, we gained some life, but no, don't look at the bright side. It's terrible. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Oh, where did I hand in my Connect Creator card? Where can I pick up my stuff so I can find a new job?
Man, that goes in the Guinness World Record as the dumbest thing anyone has ever done in the world, in the history of anything. Okay, well, we're at 19. He gets a draw and then connive, so we're not good. And he draws. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Is that a thing you can play from the graveyard? Ha, 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 great. I think we still do Magic Massacre here. I think we attack first and Prey doesn't block, because if he blocks, then we lose my token. I don't think he'll block, though. I don't think so. So I think we attack with both here. We get to cycle a card. Please don't block the vampire. I know you don't want to. I know you don't want to. Come on, dude. You would never do it. It's so... Come on, dude. Don't... Oh, nice. Perfect. We get to cycle. Uh, we don't... Hmm. I guess land can go. Let's meet the massacre for one. Let's go ahead and play out Kaito. Uh, yep. And draw another card. Oh yeah. Well, yes. Yeah, so it was a land. Please tell me it's land. Okay, now it's a seven nine. <laughs> I'd rather him actually draw and get land, but I don't know. Okay, eight. Well, we're still at at least a three turn clock. Hopefully. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. I could use another invoke to spare, please. Or something. Or a Liliana. Anything to make him sacrifice this giant bird with his, who shreds ledgers. I don't care about it. I, I hate reading too, dude. I suck at it. Cool. Well, he has at five. How do we deal with this? What do we do about it? How? Is this COVID related? I don't know. Come on. Okay, March, but sadly, 13 is a bit too heavy for us to hit. Uh, yeah, I mean, at least he's scared enough not to attack, which I do like that a lot. We should play March and kill the... We should go ahead and kill... Uh, uh, why did I just discard my unblockable creature? Hello? Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, that's pretty dumb. That's very dumb. Uh, what do we do, man? We just make mistakes. It's a long day. After that 20 minute long game before, it's just... Uh, it is just way too long. My brain can't handle it. I think we're just gonna head up, go ahead and play out Shakedown Heavy and try to kill the 4-3 the with uh, March. Because I don't want him to dupl duplicate his spells. I know he's gonna connive here. <laughs> Fun. It's gonna be a much bigger creature, but it's fine. He's not gonna have. He's not gonna dare to attack unless you get that thing that gives life link. Sure. There goes another ledger shredder. That's good. No more creatures for you. Okay. I guess we just hold. Yep. Yeah. It wasn't smart to nice land. I love to see it, and he won't attack. Ha ha ha! All right. Let's keep it up. Uh. Yeah. If we had the suspicious doorway in play, it would be a two-one unblockable. Yeah. I just. I just want to remind myself how stupid I am. We're just gonna keep on attacking. He's gonna give me a card. We just need an invoke to spare. That is not an invoke to spare. Let's draw a card. This better be an invoke to spare. It's not an invoke to spare. It's another Rafine's Tower. Let's cycle this one. This better be invoke to spare. It's not an invoke to spare. It's another land. We better get not a land this time. It is a land. God damn it. Well, uh, opponent, can you please draw four lands in a row? That'd be great. Well, eventually we'll get there. Oh, and eventually we will get there. And he can't attack. I love it. Wow, is that, a, is that the fifth land? Man, thank you, deck. Uh, I really like it. Uh, yeah, are you going to give me a card? Of course you are. That's still not an Invoke to Spare. Keep, give me an Invoke to Spare. Please, for the love of God. Invoke to Spare. God damn it. Still not. How is this possible? How? Uh, if you have sh two Shakedown Heavies down, at least we can draw two cards a turn now. I mean, two extra cards, but... Jesus Christ, dude. Come on. Why? Why did you toss the land if you're gonna connive? You might wanna. Doesn't matter. Why? Do, I mean, why did you play the? It doesn't matter. Well, we can't block it. So there goes my uh, Kaito. Fine. Well, what are you gonna do now? We have um. Come on. Really, you have nothing. We could actually win here then. Wow, March. Yeah, still, still invoke despair, but I guess I'll take it. 
Invoke Despair. Unless you have Cruelty of Gix, you're not getting it. Okay, give me two cards. Invoke Despair. Come on now. Invoke Despair. Before I quit, please. Invoke Despair. Not another land. It's another land. It's another goddamn land. Uh, I think I'm, I have some severe unluck. So let's go ahead and do this for three. And uh, I mean four. And finally win this stupid game. I wonder what he has in his hand. I'm definitely curious. Is it a counter spell? Are you going to survive one more turn because of counter spell? Hello. Ninth life. Come on, dude. Wow, Slipper, take it up the back in my own shakedown heavy, but hey, 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 we're just gonna shoot it then. 4 4. Thank you so much. We can exhale you. It's fine. Bam. Yes, I am very sure. You wanna win the game? Yeah, I do. Please. I'd, I'd love to. It's been a long game, and it's been a long time, Mr. Ninth Life, but you have to discard it. It's You don't get to keep it. One more damage from Mythic Massacre and two more damage from the other Mythic Massacre. Bam, bam, good game. Ha, 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 let's talk about the deck. Okay, so let's talk about the deck and I gotta say Liliana is not better than Kaito. Kaito is much better. I'd rather just play one more copy of you and have one more copy of you or one more copy of the suspicious stowaway. Liliana's better fit in Mono Black, I think, or more controlly, but we're still trying to be a mid-range controlly deck. Uh, especially since this um, creature works well with uh, Kaito Shizuki. And so you can play another copy of Suspicious Stowaway instead of the instead of the Tenacious, tenacious Underdog if you want. Besides that, I think the deck is fine. I mean, I didn't have any problems against my opponents. And we, even despite we had some of the most unluckiest draw I've ever seen in my life. I think we drew seven lands in a row again in that long game for 20 minutes. And we drew like five lands in a row against the last game. It was heinous. I hated it. But if your deck can, can persevere against that, then you know it might be decent. And I would give this... Yeah, I'd actually say to me, Demir is a high tier 2, if not tier 1. I don't... Yeah, I really like it. Maybe we should play another Invoke to Spare copy, because God knows we can't ever draw it. And the Cruelty of Gigs is really, really cool as well. Thank you so much for watching till the end. You rock. Like and subscribe, and... Have a good fucking...